uh, yep. with um, Timeless. So go ahead. Yep, that was the first grant. The second grant, Timeless, is um, vaguely related and currently completely incompatible with Wiki Project X, which is something I need to fix. So, Timeless. It is... Next slide, please. Timeless is a new interface for Wikipedia and the other projects. The current interface vector was it was deployed in 2010. This doesn't really meet our needs anymore, and this has come up time and again with people trying to submit their own unsolicited redesigns and various attempts at making a new skin from all sides. The question, though, is how do we actually do that? Because nothing has worked in the past eight years. We are still using Vector. We do have a different mobile interface, but that's mostly just for mobile. Next slide, please. The main problem with Vector specifically is just, well, it doesn't support mobile, and it a lot of the workflows are not the greatest. It's basically monobook, but slightly shinier. So that actually dates back to 2004. You can see why there might be a few problems there as technologies have changed, how people you interact with computers have changed, the different devices that have come up. Minerva does solve some of the problems with mobile support by being a skin specifically targeted at mobile, but it it's a different skin, so it has a different interaction design. People interact with it differently. Uh, let me switch to the next side. So here on the left, you can see that this is Vector, um, which I'm sure you're familiar with. On the right is the mobile site, which is in Minerva. They're, they're different skins. They both mostly work for what they're doing, but the problem is they just you interact with them differently. The menu is in one place on one. It's a totally different place on the other. There's different tools that are available. It's not the greatest transition for, between the two, especially if you are a like an active user and you want to use all these tools which may or may not even be available in the mobile site or you just don't know where they are because again it's a different layout. So uh, next slide. So what I'm not sure if this really is entirely the solution but it's a path forward to the solution I hope. I, a new skin timeless has been deployed across the media projects. It attempts to be a single skin that supports both the desktop and mobile needs. I did not entirely create it intended as such, but people have really took off with it, and now we're working on to try to make it work for that. So basically with this thing deployed and with the participation of everybody involved, we're, we have a great opportunity to use it as a testing ground to develop features, to test what things are actually important, what are the problems that are directly facing users and whatnot and also determining what really needs to be maintained when people test out timeless and things just don't work the way they need, which turns out is a lot of things. So, yeah. This may also help us to determine better what developers also need from the skinning backend, because a lot of things are currently specifically target targeted at Vector, which does not really make for a very effective long-term development. Things, they don't last very well. So, anyway, next slide, please. This is timeless. It's roughly the same layout as Vector in full screen desktop mode, except there's an extra sidebar because if you've got that much space, we might as well use it. People have also complained about readability problems with the text getting really long on large screens and on Vector and Monobook because they're not fixed width. They just fill this space entirely, so this it sets a fixed width and then uses that extra space for more tools and basically make you so you find things like languages and categories more easily, at least that's the idea. Um, next slide. And this is mobile. On the left you have what was Vector before mobile front-end. It's actually better now, the navigation's kind of missing, but if you load Vector on the mobile site, it is actually fairly readable. You have to go to the bottom page for the navigation, but it's there. So things have even gotten better in that department. In the middle, we have mobile front end, which is the one that's actually targeted at readers and whatnot, which it works fairly well for that. And then next, and then on the right, this is Timeless's mobile interface. So as you can see, there are a few more tools that are just immediately available, things like uh, history and even the like the thing saying it needs more citations are just right there, so people can see them. The user tools are also more immediately available and just things like that. 
it's not perfect, but I think this is probably the way we want to go and surface more of these tools for people to use. Um, yeah, but of course we need to get actual input from people. I need to hear from people, see what they say about this. Does it actually work and whatnot? So, yeah, if everybody testing this is very valuable. So if you just test it, see what you think, file bugs, there may be repeats, but if you find like that you have sub submitted a repeat bug, that is perfectly fine. It will get merged into the main one, and then you can just argue about that on that if you want, or yell at me, or submit patches, whatever. People have been contributing in a very variety of ways already, and it's been kind of amazing. Um, I'm also planning to set up some central hubs like we have for with Project X currently, but for uh, but a lot of projects have done their own things too. Uh, could you go back? So even on the French Wikipedia, I don't know how readable this is, but they actually have a, uh, I think it's a help page for Timeless. The talk page on that is just people providing feedback and complaining about things, which has all been submitted upstream to me by a few developers. If anyone on any project wants to do something similar to that, that would be so helpful. It's been amazing hearing from the French Wikipedia about this, and a lot of the French projects have just been amazing on this. Okay, thanks. But yeah, what's next is just the future. Timeless, or possibly whatever Timeless actually brings us to. Essentially, we need to go somewhere with our interfaces, so if you're interested in seeing where this is going, there's the skin page on MediaWiki.org, there's also the project pages, so there's the grant page, um, there will be the hub soon, I will set up a newsletter for this one, but I haven't done that yet, and yeah, file bugs, yell at me, whatever, I love to hear from all of you. <laughs>